Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, so in this video today, we're going to go over the new Pokemon Snap uh, printer that will let us print uh, pictures from Pokemon Snap at home. Uh, but I do want to give another option out there for the people that might not like exactly what uh, Fujifilm is offering. And I wanted to show that there's actually, in my opinion, a better and cheaper option uh, with very little downside. Uh, so right now the Fujifilm Mini Link Special Edition is on its way. Uh, the just regular printer will be $99 um, and it comes with some switch theme accents. Um, I believe the button's blue and the top is red and the bottom is blue. And then um, there is another one that will hit in May after the release of the game that will be $120 and it'll come with a yellow Pikachu shaped silicone case. Uh, so one of the things that is um, natively on the printer that they kind of uh, advertise as the draw to it is that you can take a screenshot, send it to your smartphone through a QR code, and then uh, print it out with the Instamax. Um, so currently you can put any screenshot onto your phone. Uh, you used to have to do this weird workaround, which I had to do for videos, where you would upload it to Twitter, then you would go to your Twitter that you use to just uh, dump Nintendo uh, <laughs> screenshots, and then you would download it um, onto your computer. Uh, now, just natively in the Switch, you can scan a QR code, um, it'll connect your phone to the switch and then you scan another QR code and then it will bring you to a download page um, to where you can download uh, the pictures. So really that's not special about the Instamax. Uh, really the only thing that's special about the Instamax is that there are going to be uh, a couple of frames and I guess stickers that you can put on the um, picture through the app but I'm assuming that and I, I could be wrong it hasn't come out yet but I'm assuming that you can just edit the photo on the app and then save it and then possibly you just send it to a cheaper printer uh, so on Fujifilm itself on the uh, Japanese English website um, they go through exactly how the new printer is going to work um, so step one select a screenshot from the album on Nintendo Switch. Step two, a QR code for connecting to Wi-Fi appears. Step three, launch the app Instamax Mini Link for Nintendo Switch. Step four, press the Switch Direct Print button to scan the QR code and connect the Nintendo Switch with the smartphone. Step five, after connecting, scan the QR code that appears again to transfer the image to the smartphone. Step six, the smartphone switches to the print screen to print out the image. Um, so honestly, this is not special at all. Um, you currently can do that uh, without the app. Uh, and I'll upload a real quick uh, video to show you how you can already do that. And I'll print out a uh, Pokedex entry for the shiny Charizard I have to show you. All right, so I uh, apologize in advance that this is going to be kind of a weird um, section of the video. I tried doing a capture card, and uh, it just didn't make a lot of sense with how much we're going to swap between phone and printer. Um, so, you know, to avoid a, a big trouble, we're just going to have to do it this way. All right, so go to your album. Go to the picture that you want to print. And whenever you get into that picture, press A. Uh, now there is an option to send to smartphone. Um, if you don't have that option, just make sure that you have downloaded the newest uh, Switch OS update. So you can pick a batch or only this one. And natively your phone will have a um, QR code reader. So just have it focus on that should have this little dialog box open, click it. It'll automatically connect, the switch will realize it's connected. 
go back to your phone, click it, your phone will load into your switch. And if it doesn't load, um, just turn off your mobile data, uh, just to make sure that you're purely connected to your switch. Uh, once you see that, just hold it and download the image. Uh, and then just launch the HP Sprocket app. You can print memes when you're called fat and toxic, but Gengar is both and loved by millions. Uh, I'm not gonna print that one, but I like it. <laughs> cool, but you just load up your picture I'm gonna move it a little bit so I can see the shiny symbol. And we're good. So I'll just press, press this button to print. All right, it does take a little bit to send to the sprocket, but now it's printing. And it will develop a little bit more after this, but we have a really cool Pokédex entry now. Mm, apparently I don't have the nails to do this. There we go. It's sticky paper. So, you can turn it into a sticker. Uh, so this printer you can get on Amazon right now for $100. Um, which is about the same price, but it does come with a 50 pack paper bundle. Um, the paper that prints is two by three, which is smaller uh, than what the Instamax will print. But whenever you factor in the fact that uh, Instamax prints out a Polaroid that has a white border around that's not printable, uh, the sprocket is actually bigger um, as far as the picture that you're gonna print out. Uh, and what I think is really cool and sold me on the HP Sprocket is the fact that the uh, paper that it prints on is cheaper and it's also sticky backed. So you can turn all of your pictures that you get from Pokemon Snap or really anything on the Nintendo Switch, uh, you can turn those into stickers, which is going to be great. Uh, much better than just having a Polaroid, in my opinion. Uh, I also want to point out that the uh, zinc paper is cheaper than the uh, Fuji film mini film. Uh, so best price for the uh, zinc paper is twenty four ninety nine on Amazon for fifty sheets. Uh, you can go up to a hundred sheets for fifty two twenty five, which is actually more expensive uh, than the current price of $24.99 for 50 sheets. The Fuji film, the cheapest price I can find is uh, 60 for $34.99, uh, which is around 58 cents, I believe, um, you know, per sheet. Um, so it's a little bit more expensive, um, but it doesn't come with the sticky back, which to me um, is a pretty big perk. Uh, I will say that Instamax, really the only thing that you'd be getting that is a perk is the app itself. Um, and that's only if for some reason you can't edit the pictures and save them from the Instamax app. Uh, if, you know, the Nintendo um, approved um, stickers and frames are going to make the difference for you, I think, you know, go ahead and go with Instamax. Um, I really just want to print out my Pokemon Snap pictures. 
unedited um, and then just put them up as stickers. Yeah, uh, so thank you guys for checking out the information. Um, I'm definitely not trying to sell anybody on the sprocket. Um, I personally like the sprocket better. It was a better pick for me because it was um, more economical and I thought the film was cheaper and better. I just wanted to make sure that um, people knew that there was another option out there. Um, I was really hyped about getting the Instamax and whenever I saw the price and the fact that I wouldn't get it until the game was already out, uh, I was kind of disappointed. I'm glad that I could pick up something before the game even came out and know that day one um, I'm going to be able to have fun, print out my pictures, and just as a bonus, uh, turn them into stickers. Yeah, and if you made it this far, um, please like and subscribe, and if you end up getting the sprocket, please let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. Alright, thank you, bye.